Can I bypass the gray tick block on WhatsApp? Hello viewers. Welcome to our tech tips session today. We are going to discuss a much asked question. Can I bypass the gray tick block on WhatsApp? Let's break down what this question means and then delve into possible answers. What does the gray tick mean on WhatsApp? On WhatsApp, when you send a message, a small tick appears at the bottom right corner of the message bubble. This indicates that the message has been sent from your device. When this tick turns into two gray ticks, it means that the message has been delivered to the recipient's device. But it does not necessarily mean that the recipient has read your message. That's indicated by two blue ticks. What does the gray tick block mean? If you're seeing only one gray tick, or your two gray ticks aren't turning blue even when you expect the recipient has read the message, this may be the so-called gray tick block. The single gray tick indicates that the message has been sent, but hasn't been delivered to the recipient, while the double gray ticks not turning blue may be because the recipient has turned off their read receipts. Can you bypass the gray tick block? Now to our main question, can you bypass the gray tick block? The simple answer is no. You can't force a message to be delivered if it's stuck at one tick. It might be that the recipient's phone is off, they're having connectivity issues, or they've blocked you. On the other hand, if your concern is about the recipient not showing read receipts, two gray ticks not turning blue, that is also a number. The read receipts is a privacy feature in WhatsApp that allows users to hide the blue ticks from their messages. If the recipient has this feature turned off, there's no legitimate way to bypass it. So, in conclusion, while it may be frustrating, there's no direct way to bypass the gray tick block on WhatsApp. This is part of WhatsApp's design to respect user privacy and ensure secure communication. We hope this video was insightful and helped clear up some confusions. Stay tuned for more tech tips in our next sessions.